So, I'm kicking off a new video series to help you pick the right parts for your desktop PC. Today, we'll start with the CPUs. Let's go over what a CPU is and what it does. The CPU, or central processing unit, is like the brain of your PC. It manages everything, from handling your keyboard and mouse to running several programs at once. Without a CPU, your PC simply won't start up. No matter what operating system you use, including Linux, you need a CPU. Now, let's figure out which CPU fits your needs. I'll cover three main uses, light tasks, gaming, and heavy productivity. For lighter tasks such as internet browsing, word processing, or watching Nexavice videos on YouTube, any dual-core or quad-core CPUs manufactured in the past 10 years should have sufficient processing power to handle them, especially Intel CPUs. They usually offer more comprehensive video codecs than AMD's non-APU processors. However, if you wish to run multiple applications at once, it is better to choose a quad-core CPU, such as the Intel Core i3. It provides more processing power for multitasking and will definitely deliver a smoother experience. Beware that some CPUs may not have integrated graphics. Their model names usually end with an F such as 12400F, 7500F, 14600KF, etc. In this case, a discrete graphics card is required to display images on the monitor. I'll explain more about GPUs in the future. The focus of this video today is CPUs only. Let's move on to something that concerns most of you here, gaming. Most games nowadays can utilize 6 to 8 cores of your CPU. Games like City Skylines and Skylines 2 are exceptions as they can utilize even more cores, potentially 12 to 16. Aside from the number of cores, the CPU's single core performance is crucial for gaming. Multi core performance usually causes less impact. For budget builds, the Intel Core i5 12400F, Ryzen 5 7500F, and 7600X are great options as they offer 6 cores with good single core performance. The 12400F is $30 to $40 cheaper than the Ryzen 5 CPUs, according to PC Par Picker. However, the 7500F and 7600X are stronger in gaming due to better single core performance and still have an upgrade path on the AM5 platform until at least 2027. As for mid-range picks, the 9600X is the best option right now because it costs $100 less while offering gaming performance similar to the Ryzen 7 9700X. There's no competition in this price range. How about a CPU that can handle both productivity and gaming without breaking the bank? At the $300 price range, the Intel Core Ultra 7 265K is an excellent option, especially for content creation as it isn't that far behind the flagship Ultra 9 to 85K in gaming, while costing a fraction of the price. It isn't the strongest, but it sure offers the best value among the productivity chips. How about the 9700X? I mean, it is not a bad CPU at all, but at that price range, the 265K is just superior in terms of value for its gaming and productivity performance. Before we get into the flagship CPUs, Let's talk about the 9800X3D. It's the strongest gaming CPU at the moment, but I would rather buy a 9600X and use that $270 towards a better GPU, RAM, or even aesthetics. As I've mentioned in previous videos, unless you only play CPU-intensive games like CS2, Valorant, or online multiplayer games, it's better to spend more on the GPU so that you can game at 1440p or even 4K. The FPS increase from a better GPU is always larger than getting a better CPU. If you really really want an X3D chip, the 7800X3D is a solid alternative, costing $80 less than the 9800X3D while still beating every Intel chip in gaming. For flagship CPUs, they're great at heavy productivity. I would personally go for the 9950X and 9950X3D only. The 285K from Intel is better at some productivity work, such as video editing, but it is absolutely nowhere near the Ryzen 9 CPUs in gaming, especially the X3D variant. As for the 9900X and its X3D variants, they're just not that great. 
The 9900X is beaten by the 265K in productivity, and it costs $70 more. The X3D variant is even worse. It basically performs like a 9600X3D in games, as its 3 dv cache can only be utilized by 6 cores instead of 8 in the 9800X3D and 9950X3D. I would avoid buying them under any circumstances. In case you want something more powerful than the 9950X, a Threadripper CPU from AMD is perfect for you. For any of you here seeking for an upgrade, if you are currently using the Intel Core i5, i7 or i9 CPUs from the 12th to 14th generation, you do not have to upgrade your CPU. That's still very powerful, especially the 14th gen, which are still the top 10 most powerful CPUs in 2025. However, if you have suffered from Intel's high voltage instability issues and can't RMA your CPU, it's better to swap to the AM5 platform altogether for a better upgrade path. The same goes to AMD's Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. They're powerful and you really don't need to upgrade for every generation, unless you are using an ITX build and seeking something more power efficient from the Ryzen 9000 series. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below to let me know which CPU you are currently using or planning to buy. By the way, only 0.6% of you guys are actually subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you watch this video of how to overclock NVIDIA's 50 series GPUs.